Hello, welcome back to my channel. I've got six little mini booklets, possibly mini journals, I'm not really sure what to call them. Um, just to go through with you today, they are used making, um, using inspiration from Firefly Studio 67, G. Kerr and Tre uh, Natasha at Treasure Books. I'll link them all down below who've given me inspiration for this and this is actually using all of their ideas in one. So the first thing is the printables are from G. Kerr Happiness in Crafting, they're all initials. She also has numbers, ampersand and um, like a blank frame so you can layer up these if you wanted to. Um, I've done them just with the initial on the front for people, I just think it makes a nice personalised gift for somebody. So I'll just go through them with you one at a time. It won't take long because um, really they use, use two sort of... Um, two people's inspiration really. So these are using the Firefly Studio 67 and what she does with one of her projects, it's from quite a few months back now, is um, the closure for hers are like this little strip that you make. I've obviously made mine by layering up different book pages, sewing them together. You pop an eyelet in and pop some ribbon in and that just keeps them nice and closed and flat. If you were doing a really large journal, you could actually slip these because you can see how flat they are. You could actually pop them in a pocket within a main, really big, chunky journal. Um, this year is very tough and I'm just not um, able to make big, thick journals at the moment. So I'm very happy making these little makes. I'm very grateful for the crafting community, really, on YouTube and other groups that I'm in online. Um, Crafting just helps you to take yourself away from whatever else is going on. So let's go back to the journal before I waffle on too much. Okay, so this book page I used, I didn't really like the other side. I love this side, but I obviously didn't like this side. And also to give you a bit more journaling space, which is what really journals are for, I just popped a little um, flip there with a pretty hummingbirds on. Uh, they've all got a similar theme, they're mainly coffee dyed papers, quite a lot of punching. I love this paper with the petals in it. Um, again, this, I love this and you could write over it, but because there's quite a lot of writing on there, I just wanted somewhere else that you could write yourself if you wanted to. And the same that side, and I just popped a tag on that one. Torn edges, I'm loving torn edges, that's Girl on the Ridge style that is. Um, and Kylie Koo actually. Uh, there's a few printables in here. I've tried to keep the printables to a minimum and just using um, papers that I've got. This is a snippet roll I happen to have. It was in my sight of uh, line of sight and I just thought oh that goes well with that so I popped it there just for a bit of decoration. Pop that again just so you've got more journaling space instead of all over this writing. I thought the brown of the writing went lovely with this and this I just popped that there just for a bit of decoration really. I think when journals are like this, you just feel more inspired to write in them. There's not this great big white page daunting. Because again, I didn't like this back cover here. I just popped a book page fold on there, pocket, made a faux library card just to tuck in there. So you've got lots of journaling space there again. So that's that one. I'm going to stick with the Firefly Studio um, ones that I've done. This is another one. I've only got a little bit of this seam binding left. I'm really sad because I do love it. I've crinkled it up. Um, but it's the same sort of style. This time I've used Edith Holden as my book page. Popped a little strip around there. And then as we go in here, again, it's just um, different colours, pages, uh, papers, punched, things I've coffee dyed, handmade paper. One printable again on coffee dyed. And again, you tend to see more in the middle of this one, the layering that I'm going for. Again, just having layered papers, different sizes, different colours. I just think it's quite inspiring and you're happy to write on it. Equally, you could actually use these um, as a naked journal and then just decorate them up. If you just wanted the base, you could obviously just decorate these up. Um, similar sort of closure on here. I really like how these close and open. And again, the same sort of mix of papers. There's the printable in this one, that's a G-Curl one. It's a music page. And again, when you're in the middle, you can see the layering a bit. You can see it there as well. But just lovely little journals to write in. I've only got one more of that sort. Yeah, so that's the end. This is a bit of a thicker one. I have embellished this 
couldn't decide as I was going along whether to embellish them or keep them more plain so this is an embellished one I've used some of my franking paper that I've cut into a strip thought that made a lovely closure underneath there you know just little things that pick up like the paper that's here that was obviously using it just somehow mirrors the roses that are there I just really liked it um, this is a Roxy Creations printable that I've got um, so I've done some stamping on that one and just pop that there just so that that matches this. Again, layers, different size papers, don't keep them the same. Book page there with a dark pen, you can easily write over that or maybe you just want to pop something on the label. Um, I've done a flip out here for more journaling here. Kept that page as it was, thought that was quite pretty. Did not like the centre of this at all, so I've just covered it with two journaling cards that you can write on there, and I think that would make a lovely centre. I also think that keeping this page, I just think all these little bits of greens and orange, they all just match really, which was chance. I didn't sort of plan it that way. Uh, I did cover the book page outside cause, with this because I just thought that gave you lots of writing space. To allow you to write on this book page, I just put a little faux envelope. So you see these can be left quite plain or you can decorate them up with little decorations if you want to. Punches, um, just popped a label on there and that one. And then my last two, these are much more in the style of Natasha at Treasure Books. Um, you can see the layering straight away on these. You always make the cover slightly smaller than your inside pages. I meant to say they've all got a three hole pamphlet stitch. Sometimes I tie them on the outside and sometimes you can't see on there anyway but these are tied let's have a look these are tied on the inside that's the only difference so these have just got uh, this is quite turned out quite pink really a variety even though that's a printed page you can easily write on that and that then there's lots of coffee dyed all different layers different heights widths some with torn edges some with quite straight edges so that is that one and the last one this was a little bit smaller I actually shrunk the printable down from G Kerr on this one uh, I just love this I mean it's so I don't know if it's in the palm of your hand it's just lovely and again just different sorts of pages I'll pop that there so you could write on there punching but mostly plain either decorate it up yourselves or uh, just actually writing it it's just really pretty really pretty so that is all I've got for you today. Um, I will be back on my next video. I'm going to continue making these initial journals because I think they're great for Christmas presents and things. Um, but I'm actually going to use another YouTuber who gives me lots of inspiration. So I'll be making similar you know, initial journals but they'll be a bit different because they'll be with a different YouTuber's inspiration. Um, I'm really grateful to all the YouTubers that give me inspiration. I love crafting and I'm very grateful to my subscribers. I hope that you like um, seeing, you know, what I bring. So that's all for now. Until next time. Bye bye.